This is the Charlie Cube running my test program. Test program is relatively simple. It sequences each LED in each color. Um, and as you modify the table of information uh, to light up each LED, run the program, the test program, and see if it lights up the right LED because they all should be sequenced. This one's white, which actually lights up all three LEDs per voxel at the same time. Um, which is a good one to run for tests, that way you can see when it lights up the wrong ones pretty quickly and easily. Here it's running blue, um, which tests all the blue LEDs. Really, you just need the blue, green, and red to, to test. The others, where they're mixed, is a way to see when two aren't exactly the same, but... This is really how you need to test it, it is red, green, and make sure all of them go in the right sequence. We're back with red again. And it sequences them all in the proper order. There's three ways to address each LED. There's one as the number between 1 and 182. The information is grouped in blue, first 64 are blue, the second 64 are green and then the third 64 are the red. And each group of 64 is in the sequence um, that you can see it going through number 1 through 64 each year. And the way you call it in the software is entirely different too. It uses X, Y, and Z coordinates. So here's the test program. It's very simple. Um, it's only a dozen lines. And it's a good tool to use to diagnose and figure out the wiring problems. In this case, I used it to convert the common cathode cube into a common anode cube. When several of the wires were in the wrong place, I had to figure out which one was which. So I used this program in a spreadsheet change the wiring to work correctly. As you can see, this common anode cube is working correctly.